Hey guys, welcome back. Now I'm gonna prepare South Indian chicken kurma, and this is my mom's recipe. Trust me, this dish is delicious, and we all enjoy her cooking. Let's straight away jump into it, how we're gonna prepare. Come on in. Heat up the pan. Pour in two spoons of cooking oil. I've taken some cinnamon sticks and three cloves. Throw them in hot oil. Add in some fennel seeds, green chili, three fresh bay leaves. Take two onions, slice it up. Set aside some sliced onion for the paste. And take the rest of it, pop it in the pan. Sprinkling some salt. I'm going to use 750 grams of chicken drumstick. I'm slitting the chicken to get the flavor of the spice infused in the drumstick. Once the onion is glassy, pop in the slit chicken. Take in some 10 cloves of garlic, pop it in a blender, and a small piece of ginger, two green chilies, and the sliced onion, which we set aside. Make it into a fine paste. Add in the ginger garlic paste, which we prepared now. Mix it up. Leave it until the raw smell from ginger garlic, chili, and onion paste goes off. I'm going to add in three sliced tomatoes to it. Adding in some turmeric powder. One spoon chili powder. Two spoons coriander powder. And a little bit garam masala. The reason I've added a little bit of garam masala is because I've already added in spices. Adding in some salt. I'm adding in 200 ml hot water. Let it cook for about 10 minutes and let's come back and see. After 10 minutes, look at the oil which has come on its sides. It smells really good. I'm going to make a paste out of poppy seeds, scraped coconut, and cashew nuts. So at first, I'm taking one and a half spoons of poppy seeds, and I'm going to dry grind it, making it into a fine powder, and then add on the coconut and cashew nuts. I've ground the poppy seeds, add 30 grams scraped coconut, six cashew nuts. Don't add water as yet. 
You can see it is coming up as a paste. To make it into a fine paste, add in some water. Now blend it. Once the chicken is three-fourths cooked, add in the coconut paste which we prepared. And this gives a creaminess to the kurma. Give it a mix. Look at that, it looks creamy. Now, let it cook. Take in four cardamom pots and crush it in pestle and mortar. Couple of minutes before taking off the heat, I'm sprinkling the crushed cardamom. So it gives out a good aroma. Mix it up. And adding in the chopped coriander leaves. Turn the heat off and then add in some lemon juice at the end. Now it's good to go. I'm going to prepare fresh carrot salad now. So take in one fresh carrot, gonna grate it, take in one fresh scraped carrot, one thinly sliced red onion, two green chilies, coriander leaves and some scraped coconut salt to taste and squeeze in some lemon juice and mix it up this goes well with chicken kurma rice or you can have it by itself as a salad and the lemon gives a tanginess to it now chicken kurma is ready wow look at the color of kurma it has come up really well and smells delicious and so yummy I'm going to have it right away. If you like this recipe, make sure you subscribe. Now chicken kurma is ready to be served. Look at the color of the gravy. Wow, it looks so yummy. I'm going to have it right away. And chicken kurma goes well with rice, non bread, and I've also prepared fresh carrot salad which goes well with chicken kurma and rice or you can have the salad by itself and if you like this recipe make sure you subscribe and leave your comments below thanks bye